Has science gone too far? Seems like scientists are trying to breed more and more animals together. And there are a lot of movies out there that show you why this can be a bad idea. Today, let's look at some animal hybrids that already exist. From a pig being bred with human DNA, to a jaguar accidentally mating with a lion. Let's talk about these and more only on today's list. Top 10 creepy animal hybrids that actually exist. Starting off this countdown, we have the Growler Bear. The Growler Bear, or the Pizzly Bear, is a cross between a polar bear and a brown grizzly bear. This actually happened naturally in the wild, which is kind of hard to believe. Basically, because of climate change destroying the bear's habitats, they started breeding with each other out of desperation, which is actually pretty sad. It's believed that the first Growler Bear was discovered in 2006. On April 16th, 2006, a hunter named Jim Martell was out hunting when he captured a growler bear. At first, he thought it was just a polar bear, but officials took a look at it and noticed it had strange features. Later, it was determined to be a growler bear or pizzly bear. It's really funny. To, it's really funny to say. In our ninth spot, we have a Zorse. Any guesses as to what this animal is mixed with? Well, it's a mix between a zebra and a horse or sometimes a donkey too. Other people refer to them as zebula, or zebrule, or a zebra mule. These animals were created after crossbreeding a male zebra with a female horse. The offspring look more like a horse than a zebra, but they still got the identifying stripes. The first Zorse was created during the 19th century by Charles Darwin. Now they are still around to this day, but they are extremely rare. This is because Zorses are infertile or sterile. They can't reproduce on their own. So the only way to get more of these bad boys is to get someone to crossbreed them themselves. Moving on, number eight, we have the Jag Lion or Jag Leon. I don't know. It's a kind of a weird name, not gonna lie, but this animal is a cross between a Jaguar and a lion. And these are actually naturally born. The first Jag Lion was unintentionally bred. It happened when a lion and a jaguar coexisted in the same zoo together. They were raised together and you know, one thing led to another and boom, baby jag lion. Not gonna lie, these things are beautifully terrifying. They are so unique and cool looking, but also I would never wanna come face to face with one. Now, let me share with you a quick little love story between a jaguar named Diablo and a lion named Lola. The two were raised side by side and were inseparable. When Lola got mature, they kept Diablo away from her so that they would never mate. But whenever they were apart, both animals would grow depressed. It got so bad to the point where Lola wouldn't even eat. So they brought them back together and bada bing bada boom, they had two babies together. So cute. Moving on to number seven, we have the human Z. It is so weird and uncomfortable putting this one on the list. But a human Z is a cross between a human and a chimpanzee. Yeah, I already know what you're thinking, but no, not that. Let me explain. Serious attempts have been made throughout the years to cross a chimp with a human. Since we're so similar in a genetic way, people believe that it's possible to do this. Ilya Ivanish Ivanov was the first person to attempt to create a human-chimp hybrid. I believe he started in 1918 and continued these experiences throughout the 1920s. During that time, the Soviet Union was also doing the same experiments. In 2019, rumor has it that a team of researchers from the Salk Institute from Biological Studies in the US successfully completed this. It's kind of creepy, I know. In our sixth spot, we have the Iron Age Pig. This is a big, mean old pig, literally. So the Iron Age Pig is a cross between a domestic pig and a wild boar. That's just like so wrong to me on so many levels. Like, poor little Miss Piggy. Now, look at this thing. It's huge and looks tough and mean. In fact, they are considered very hostile animals. It's because wild boars are typically more aggressive. That's one of the traits that gets passed along to their offsprings. Now they get their name because this pig has many characteristics of domesticated animals from the Iron Age period. Hello, there you go, Iron Age pig. It's quite fascinating. These pigs are generally bred in Europe for the sole purpose of selling and eating them. We're now at our fifth and halfway mark with the green sea slug. As strange as this one is, it's actually really interesting. Honestly though, this has to be the weirdest hybrid on this list. And that's because it's part animal and part plant. Yeah, it's a mix between a sea slug and algae. Yeah, yeah, algae. 
this sea slug was going around eating algae, and eventually the algae became part of its DNA. It's very strange. Soon, green sea slugs were born and contained chlorophyll, just like a plant. In fact, this is the first animal able to make chlorophyll like a plant. They literally can turn solar energy into food. Again, it's quite weird, but also fascinating. In our fourth spot, we have the wolfin, which is really fun and funny to say. So a wolfin is a mix between an Atlantic bottlenose dolphin and a false killer whale. In fact, these are considered very, very rare. The first recorded wolfin was born in 1981 in Tokyo SeaWorld, but sadly, he passed away after 200 days. Now, the first wolfin born in the US was at Sea Life Park in Hawaii in 1985, but she had trouble reproducing. Her baby wolfins sadly passed away. Some say they have seen wolfins out in the wild, but these sightings have never been confirmed. But if you do see one, it's very rare. Coming in at number three, we have the Enviro Pig. Okay, this one, I take it back. This one is probably the weirdest one on this list. Basically, an Enviro Pig is an environmentally friendly pig. Basically, pig's excrements are high in phosphorus. This phosphorus then ends up in lakes and rivers and oceans and can cause a boom of algae. So scientists were like, hey, let's just breed a pig with less toxic waste. And that's what they did. Enviro pigs are pigs with up to 65% less phosphorus in their excrements. This pig was first created in 1999 at the University of Guelph's farm in Canada. This pig had its phytase gene attached to a piece of mouse DNA. Basically, in the end, it made the pig produce an enzyme to help it better digest plant phosphorus, which is a nutrient in its feed. Voila, from there, Enviro pigs were born. In our second spot, we have the Belgian super cow. Now, when they said super cow, they weren't joking, because take a load of this cow. It's monstrous. As many of you guys know, cows are my favorite animal, but this one terrifies me. It's massive, like look at its muscles. I'm sorry, but no animal should be as ripped as that. So basically this super cow was created back in the 1800s when Belgian scientists and farmers mixed native cattle with shorthorn cattle. Then over the time they would select the biggest and strongest offsprings of each variety and get them to breed together. So on and so on, bam, you got this super cow, which is definitely the biggest and strongest. So maybe let's stop doing that because this cow is soon gonna get too big for its own good and like take over the world or something. And in our number one spot, we have the human pig hybrid. Yes, this is a real thing. Scientists at the Salk Institute for Biological Sciences in California have created a human pig hybrid. Now you're probably wondering why on earth would they do this? Well, they did this in hopes that one day they could grow human organs inside of pigs and other animals instead of waiting for a donor. So in 2017, an embryo was placed in an adult pig for four weeks. Then this was taken out and analyzed and the embryo survived and contained some human cells. Now they're going to figure out if pig embryos can handle enough human cells to create human organs. It's very creepy in my opinion. All right guys, that's all for today's video. Let me know which one of these animals creeped you out the most. I'm telling you that super cow is no good. <laughs> And now let's move on to our comment shout out portion. I'll be shouting out comments from the video, top 10 games scarier than a Ouija board. Okay, I had to put this in there. So I commented, which game scared you the most, okay? First off, only two of you liked that and only two of you replied, but that's besides the point. Pyrobot commented, you. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> actually made my day, that's so funny. Makai Penna commented, let's be honest, playing an intense game of Uno is terrifying. Literally, I will get so mad at that game. I just, I can't. It's ultimate betrayal. I can't. I've gotten so mad at it. I've just, don't talk to me. I don't play Uno. It's for the best. Safari Man commented her. Don't play it. It summons demons. Also her. Giving instructions on how to play it. It's so true. I realized that. I'm like, so guys, don't do it because you literally could get possessed and summon demons. But also, if you do want to play it, here's a list of things that you need to do and the steps that you need to follow. <laughs> literally don't. Don't do it. <laughs> Alright guys, that's all the comments I'm shouting out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 for more amazing videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I'll see you when I see ya. List exists. I totally rhymed that. Wow. They were then raised together and well, you know, one thing led to another. Bada bing, bada boom, and...
Jag, Leon, baby. <laughs> bada bing, bada boom. 